Hey, thanks so much for joining. I am Joe Peterson. I am the Vice President of Cloud and Security and AI Solutions for Clarify 360 and the Chief Analyst for Clear Tech Research. And I'm working with my fellow analyst and friend, David Linthicum of Linthicum Research. And we're going to be exploring the concept of a full stack approach to automation, especially in this era of AI. So over the next few weeks, we're going to be sharing work IBM has been doing to connect the dots in this space for IT leaders, engineers, enterprise architects, and their entire teams. In today's session, we're gonna focus on three areas that were in scope as IBM embarked on putting together a cohesive solution. Enter IBM Web Methods Hybrid Integration. And the three areas are the concept of full stack approach to automation, the importance of a common control plane, and the organizational benefits that come along with a full stack approach to automate, automation. So what exactly is a full stack approach to automation? It's kind of an easy concept in practice, but traditionally has not been so cohesive in reality. A full stack approach to automation means connecting disparate apps, systems, and processes in order to automate tasks across all layers of an organization's digital operations. And that means from the front end to the back end, infrastructure, everything in between. And what you wanna do is streamline workflows and reduce manual effort. That's the goal. So the reality when solutioning often ends up that you're dealing with these sort of siloed tooling and stacks that aren't interoperable, and they fall really short of being kind of this end-to-end -end approach that architects are seeking. And the impact the, the business sees is that there are silos and fragmentation. And at the end of the day, the tech can't keep up with the demands of the business, and that's never a good place to be. So in the Enterprise Architect Playbook, the desired end state is to automate that full stack and create this awesome AI-ready foundation. Remember when we touched on the reality of siloed tools a moment ago? Guess what they don't have in common? Yup, you guessed it, a common control plane. Well, IBM calls it a hybrid control plane, and it actually is. So can you imagine for a minute a single control plane for every runtime everywhere? Well, it's here. We all know the plain truth. Today's enterprise IT landscapes are increasingly distributed with specialized gateways, on-prem and multi-cloud deployments, multiple users, and this causes that fragmentation we were talking about. And it's more than ever before. So gaining control over this complexity is really critical to reducing risk and maintaining agility, resilience, security, scale, everything we need to succeed. So what would a conversation in tech be today without the use of AI? AI is sprinkled in every conversation we have. And AI might be a buzzword for a lot of new players, but IBM's involvement with AI spans over seven decades, back to the 50s. IBM holds a strong leadership position in the AI landscape, particularly in enterprise applications and consulting. Their focus on business outcomes and and responsible AI development positions them as a significant player in the ongoing AI revolution. The use of agentic AI is rapidly growing as businesses move from this sort of reactive, prompt-based gen AI to more autonomous goal-driven systems. And forecasts predict widespread enterprise adoption over the next few years with agents in handling increasingly complex workloads. So listening to customers and reading the tech tea leaves, it became really clear to IBM that IT leaders and their teams were looking for ways to better centrally manage and govern AI agents. And these leaders are looking for ways to integrate their existing mission critical tech with exciting new agents and capabilities from those agents. And they want everything to be seamless, of course. And that includes all the environments, the hybrid, the multi-cloud, everything they've got going on. So as a young engineer, I learned the concept of keep it simple, and it served me. Sometimes that means looking at a problem a different way. 
If you take a moment to consider IPAS principles that apply to integration and maybe look at it from a different angle, you'll also realize these same principles apply to AI and agents as well. In reality, agents are just another endpoint. It's not like integration or iPaaS is new, and there's lots of solutions on the market that meet some of the needs of the team, but those solutions are often siloed and fragmented. Like we talked about before, they're not cohesive. Web Methods has been laser focused over the last two years in bringing IT teams value, particularly in AI powered hybrid integration and cloud native cap capabilities. So if you want to learn more about this evolution and what challenges Web Methods hybrid integration can solve for you and your team today, read more. I've got a link in the comments below. Thanks for joining.